Hi, I'm Jeremy Kraut Ordover. I'm with Phoenix Children's Hospital, and today we're here at Camp Rainbow, which is our camp for the Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders. We've been doing this for 25 years up here in Prescott. Today we have over 115 kids up here uh, with another 70 volunteers. This is a real summer camp for them, so we keep as much of the medicine out of it as possible, um, and we do a regular summer camp experience. Hi, my name is Megan DeRosa. I was diagnosed with um, medulloblastoma. It's a brain cancer. It's like located right here. And I was diagnosed with that like two years ago. Everybody will, goes through pain when they have cancer. Even if, if it, whether it's heart pain because they miss their old self or whether it's emotional pain or even physical pain. This is my first year at Camp Rainbow, but I absolutely love it just because all the activities are made so everybody can participate and you don't have to worry about stumbling or falling on your face and getting laughed at. And you also just make really great friendships and everybody, you just get close with everybody and it's just like a really big family and it's nice. We even have people up here in Prescott like Ken Hinderleiter who come up to camp every year and really are part of camp. Um, Mr. Hinderleiter has been coming to camp. This is going to be his second year bringing pizza for the kids. And it's really special for the kids because they get to see in Mr. Hinderleiter somebody who has really overcome great struggle and adversity in his life with a sense of pride and a can-do attitude. First time I was here, I didn't have anything. I thought, well, how well, about these kids would go for pizza? So we started this pizza deal. And I've got it set up with Judy. And it'll go on as long as I'm around. Maybe after. So <laughs> oh, it's so good to see these kids happy. Good job! There she goes down. It's really the kids that are the heroes because as adults we come to a diagnosis and we hear what's going on with our health and we have a, a cultural understanding of what that means but kids don't know what cancer means um, and they face it with an amazing amount of courage and strength and um, an attitude of okay i need to get through this give me my medicine and let me go be a kid <laughs>